Oh, nope. So fun cooking outdoors on the hob and everything. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Gaz and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm taking a quick break from season four to bring you this sponsor video, which is sponsored by Tesco and their new Go Cook range. So I've got one of their new knives, uh, the casserole dish, spoon and baking tray. They've launched a whole new range of amazing uh, cooking utensils and products. So I recommend going and checking those out. Today, I'm gonna to be making the most amazing chili con carne. It is literally the ultimate vegan chili con carne because I'm gonna be adding some incredible flavors and ingredients into it. So this is how I make it. So I'm gonna do all the preparation first. I'm gonna start by getting these amazing king oyster mushrooms into this baking tray. So I'm gonna put these into the wood-fired oven now. And the good thing about using a wood-fired oven like this is that they're gonna get really smoky and they're gonna add a really nice smoked flavor to the chili. If you don't have one of these at home, just put them into your oven or you can actually do them on a barbecue with some wood chips underneath and they'll get a really nice smoky flavor. But don't worry, just stick them in your oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes until they're nicely dried out and you can actually pull them and they're gonna look and taste amazing. So next up, let's prepare the rest of the ingredients. I'm gonna get all the preparation out the way first. So I've got one red onion, which I'm gonna chop extra fine. Mince three cloves of garlic. Finely slice one red chili. If you like your chili a little bit more spicy, just add some more chilies. But this will be quite a mild one. I am gonna add some cayenne pepper as well. So that adds a nice little kick as well. De-seed and cube two red peppers. Peel, de seed and cube one small pumpkin. I recommend rinsing the seeds clean of all the pulp and roasting them for about 10 minutes in your oven and they'll be beautiful roasted pumpkin seeds. The perfect snack. I had to add some pumpkin as it's Halloween season, of course. This is actually a really nice dish to make on Halloween or bonfire nights. You know, outdoor cooking, eating outdoors, really nice and warm and really hearty meal. So the next incredible ingredient going into the ultimate chili con carne is my steaks and I made these in uh, a recent season four recipe video they went down so well but the amazing thing about these steaks is that you can blitz them up and they go into a really nice sort of like mince texture and when we get it into the chili con carne it'll taste absolutely incredible so I'm going to chop them up first and then get them into the ninja blender to blitz up so that is the perfect sort of texture. That nice crumb almost resembles like a mince uh, texture. It'll add a really nice flavor and obviously texture to the chili con carne. And you're probably wondering why I've also got the mushrooms in the oven behind me. I don't know whether I told you at the start of the video, but I'm actually gonna be pulling them. So they're almost gonna be like a pulled pork style uh, texture and look. Um, they'll taste amazing because of, of the smokiness. But even if you don't smoke them, like I said before, you'll still get that really good texture without all the horribleness of actual pork. After doing all the prep, get the mushrooms out of your oven. Wow, they've almost halved in size and the smell, the smokiness is unbelievable. So I'm gonna pull these now using a fork. I'll show you how to do that, it's really simple. Just grab the mushroom and using a fork, just pull and just shred it basically. Look at that, see, look at the texture of that. Doesn't look great now, but when we get it in the pan, it's gonna crisp them up really beautifully and it'll add the most amazing sort of meaty texture to the chili con carne. I'm just gonna give these a little bit of a chop just to break them down slightly. Guys, I don't have a stove yet, so I'm gonna quickly swap my kitchen round and then get a stove here and we'll start cooking it because you can't really do it all in the oven as much as I'd love to. I've got to get a stove out. So you would just obviously preheat your pan over a medium heat, a nice saucepan or a beautiful casserole dish like this one from the Go Cook Tesco range. I'm gonna get my gas hobs out now. Preheat your casserole dish over a medium heat and add a touch of oil. First up, add the onion, chili and garlic to the pan, followed by the spices. I'm adding two teaspoons of ground coriander two teaspoons of cumin and two teaspoons of cayenne pepper. Let the spices and onions soften. So fun cooking outdoors, I don't know why. I'm really enjoying using my gas stove. <laughs> feel like Keith Floyd. If you don't know who he is, he's like a um, old school television chef. Next up, add the mushrooms. 
The reason I put these mushrooms in early is because I want them to like caramelize, go crispy. Um, so they will shrink as well, but they all just, they're gonna taste incredible. The smokiness would have already gone into everything. So next up, I'm gonna be adding the steak um, mint. Oh God, it's catching my throat. But it's smelling incredible. Allow the mushrooms to cook for about four minutes. Next up, add the steak mint and give it a good old stir. Add the red pepper cubes. Who says vegans eat grass? Look how incredible that looks already. Now let's get all the rest of the amazing flavors in there. I'm gonna add the pumpkin, mix it all around. Now that everything's in the pan, I've gotta add some seasoning. So a good pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. Add three cups of chopped tomatoes from a jar. This is smelling absolutely amazing. There's only a few more ingredients to add. Add around a cup and a half of cooked red kidney beans. Next, I'm gonna be adding three tablespoons of tomato puree. For a little bit of sweetness, add around three tablespoons of maple syrup. Finally, add a stick of cinnamon. So now that everything's in, I'm gonna add another pinch of salt and pepper. And I don't know about you, but to me, that looks unbelievable. I'm still just loving cooking outdoors. It's working really nicely in the Go Cook casserole dish. Now you can actually just put the lid on and throw it in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. You can really just forget about it while you make your rice and make everything else that you're serving it with. But because I'm loving cooking outdoors so much on my gas uh, hob, I'm just gonna pop the lid on and just let it cook for about 25 minutes as well. Have a little clean up and I'm gonna make the most amazing guacamole. But before I do, I'm gonna add a little secret ingredient well, it's not secret because I'm showing you now, to my chili, I'm gonna add some chocolate. And the reason I'm adding this dark chocolate is because it adds the most luxurious sort of um, glossiness to the chili, but also adds a nice deep flavor because it's a dark chocolate, it adds a real nice um, flavor that's just, just packed full of a punch. It'll, honestly, it just works. Just, don't, just trust me on this one, it does work. So I'm gonna add about this much. I'm just gonna chop it up. So let's get this chocolate in. I told you this chili would be full of surprises and you'll see instantly a color change in the chili and it add a really nice creaminess to it once it's melted right through. Oh God, it smells so, so good. I'm gonna leave this cook on a low temperature for about 20 more minutes. Now let's make that guacamole. So if you've never made guacamole before, you're gonna need two really ripe avocados. I'm gonna use half a red onion, one tomato, a chili, some lime of course, and I'm gonna add some salt and pepper, and that's basically it. Really simple guacamole. In my book, I have the most amazing guacamole with a twist, and the twist just makes it spectacular. Cut around the stone and de-seed, then peel the avocados. Keep checking your chili, giving it a stir every now and then. Be careful, because we don't want it to catch on the bottom of the casserole dish. Finally chop half a red onion. Stay tuned for my knife skills video, which is coming up soon. Finely cube half a red chili. I'm just scraping any bits off the bottom of the casserole dish that is uh, sticking to the bottom really because that's a lot of flavor there and that is the bit that's going to catch if you, do, if you forget about your chili. So if that happens to you just scrape it off. It'll stop it from burning then. But this is looking amazing and do you see the color difference after adding the chocolate? De-seed one tomato. Cut the tomato into strips then cut it the other way. Give your lime a roll on your chopping board to release the juice, then squeeze it into the bowl. I'm just adding a little bit of lime to the chili and this will help season it. It's nearly done. Arm yourself with a masher. That's all you're gonna need. And we're just gonna mash this up until it combines nicely. I do it like a little bit of a lump in my guacamole. It's up to you. If you want it a bit finer, you can always add it to a blender and blitz it up, but just get mashing It's the easiest way. That's how simple guacamole is. Before it's done though, I'm gonna add a little handful of chopped coriander then add it to the bowl. Give it one last mix and check it for seasoning. Mm. I could live off guacamole, it's unbelievable. So simple. Remember, there's a really amazing guacamole with a twist in my book, so you can pre-order that now. I'll pop the link below. Right, I'm almost there. The chili is cooked. Look at that. That is better than I could have ever expected. Look how unbelievably meaty that looks. This is great for like new vegans or people who are thinking about going vegan and think, thinking they're gonna miss certain foods. This is great because it's got everything that you think you're gonna miss. It's got the mint steak, it's got the pulled pork style mushrooms. This is turning out better than I could have imagined. I can't wait when it gets a bit colder around Halloween time and bonfire night, which we have in the UK, 
have this warm in the garden, just eat it, it's gonna be amazing. Looking at fireworks or whatever you wanna do. You can really smell the depth flavor that chocolate's giving it. So let's plate up. So I have some cooked rice and it's just time to serve this up. I am unbelievably excited to try this. Look at that. Look at the different types of textures in there. It is unbelievable. I told you this would be a hundred times better than the chili I made in my meal prep video. This is just the extra mile. This is like an extra special chili. Obviously I need to top it with some of this amazing guacamole. And I, I just forgot one thing I'm left inside. I forgot that I left these inside. I made these yesterday, just some baked tortilla wraps and they just go really crispy. And they just look really nice. And it just adds another little dimension of texture. I'm also gonna put some of my sour cream over the top. And if you want the recipe, it's in my soup uh, video, the red pepper and tomato soup. That adds a nice coolness. And finally, just to finish off, a little bit of coriander. Look at that. That is the ultimate vegan chili con carne. It's almost like a meat feast. It's got the pulled oyster mushrooms, which are smoked. They'll taste incredible. And also my minced steak. And if you want the recipe for the steak, just go to my steak and chips video. It's as simple as that. I hope you enjoy it. I can't wait to give this a try. I just got to get the nacho and get it in there, get a bit of everything. Let's try it. Mm. I said in the steak video that when I cut into it and ate it, it's probably the best mouthful of food I've had since going vegan. I think that has just topped it. And what I really like about it, it's so humble. It's no elegant presentation gone in whatsoever on my behalf. I've just spooned everything in. That is enough to serve about six people in the big go cook um, saucepan. Honestly, it tastes unbelievable. And the textures, so we've got the pulled mushroom, we've got the amazing steak mince, and you've got the beans, the pumpkin, the peppers. It's so good. And what I really like is the sour cream. Just cools everything down, and that amazing guacamole just cuts through. It's beautiful. Mmm. That bowl is mine. The boys who are filming can have the, the casserole dish because that is unbelievable. I need it together. Thank you so much to Tesco and their new Go Cook range of um, kitchen products. I uh, really appreciate them wanting to sponsor the video and supply me with some of their new uh, kitchen utensils and pots. And you've seen me use the tray, the knife, the casserole dish and the, um, the spoon. All really nice products. So go to Tesco now and check them out. Thanks so much again to them. And thank you to you guys for supporting my channel. Please like, share and comment. Hit the subscribe. <coughs> <laughs> I told you it was a chili. Hit the subscribe button if you want to be um, a subscriber and hit the bell if you want to become a part of the notification gang. So you're the first ones to know about my new videos. Thank you so much. That was a mouthful. And I'm going to have some more mouthfuls of this. Beautiful. Mm -hmm.